But because of that, I never read a book until I got grown. I went to jail, you know, over a situation, and while I was in jail, I picked up How a How long book. was you in there? I was only there for maybe a few weeks. Okay, you know, the but first it, time. It, time to think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was you time know, to stop. You know, and I picked up a book, and it was uh, Think and Grow Rich, right? And that was the first time I ever read a book. And uh, I read it. It blew my mind. I Napoleon like, Hill. Napoleon Hill, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And it was one of those things. I almost got scared when I was reading it because I was like, ain't no way they put this much game in a book. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, so man, what? Let's talk about it, man. You, Pim Ken, man. You always HHF. You one of them ones, man. You always cease to. You never cease to me amaze me when it come down to just different people that you, you know, you link up with, man. How did you and my boy go to get together? Well, uh, it was on some uh, Fugazi uh, stuff, man. You know, somebody trying to uh, make some things happen, and uh, you know, him and I. Was able to collaborate, and uh, I offered him to have me on his show, which is going viral over a million people. You know, watching. Don't hate the player, learn the game. Don't that's it. That's the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Don't hate the player, learn the game. So uh, once I got on his show, the chemistry that emitted from the cameras and from the the videos, people was just like, man, y'all dudes, man, y'all y'all go y'all go like together like Batman and Robin. So, you know, at that juncture, you know what I'm saying, Goldie's like, man, let's try something else. We try something else, we try something else. And next thing you know, we've been on this crusade, man, you know, to let the world know, man, that you know, hey, man, that you got the OGs and the YGs. OG stand for offering game, as my man Joe Millionaire out of Pasadena like to say, you know. So that's what we're doing. We're just offering game, you know what I'm saying, me, and, uh, you know. Man, I can tell you right now, man, like I said, I, I, I heard the boy snap, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he got a lot of money. He got a lot of self-love going on over there, man. And, I, I, you know, I got to rock with it because at the end of the day, I think as a man, we definitely got to build ourselves up, you know. Even man. the word of God, like, I'm, a, I'm a biblical guy, so you yeah. said, love, you know, you got to love yourself. Love, love your neighbors, you love yourself. Yeah. You, how can you love your neighbor if you don't love yourself? You can't. Mm -hmm. So I like what you say, man. And then the exercise, you know what I mean? All that stuff, it goes hand in hand. Yeah. You got to you gotta completely build up the mind, right? The body. Yeah. Uh, your spiritual. Yeah. Your soul, you know, yeah. basically reading and all kind of stuff. So what 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 made you go here when it come down to just your mental, man? How did you end up being like you are? Well, you know, I, I went to jail when I was young. Thankfully, what? I never I never went to prison, though. But, you know. All through school, you know, I cheated. Cheated on every test. Was a professional cheater. You know, had the, the, the test book before the test came out. So because of that, I never read a book until I got grown. I went to jail, you know, over a situation. And while I was in jail, I picked up How a book. How long was you in there? I was only there for maybe a few weeks. Okay, you know, the but first it, time. It, time to think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you time know, to stop. You know, and I picked up a book. And it was uh, Think and Grow Rich, right? And that was the first time I ever read a book. And uh, I read it. It blew my mind. Napoleon I was like, Hill. Napoleon Hill, uh, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And it was one of those things. I almost got scared when I was reading it because I was like, ain't no way they put this much game in a book. And it just opened my mind to the power of thought and things of that nature. And it opened me up to reading. And since that day, every day I've just been devouring books. So it gave me a different perspective. You know, and from there, you know, being in different lifestyles and, you know, living a polygamous lifestyle, having a bunch of females, living the ups and the downs of that type of lifestyle, kind of being in the streets. When I was making my transition, you know, I kind of hit rock bottom. And when I hit rock bottom, I realized, you know what? I had all the money. I had all the women. That didn't make me fulfilled. So what is it? Let me work on myself. And I got on this personal development journey where I was just working on myself, getting my mindset right, getting my body right, cutting the vices. And my life started to change in a way that it never did, no matter how much money I had. And I was so excited to, you know, give out this information. I said, man, this shit worked. And so I just got online and started preaching, man, what worked for me? And that's working out. That's the discipline. That's the habits. That's the consistency. Because I tell everybody like this, they come to me, they say they want the money. I tell them, no, you're doing it backwards. You got to get your manhood right. You got to get your principles, your consistency, your discipline right. Because once you get that, you can do anything and make money. But as long as you don't have that right, you can get all the money in the world. You still going to have to double back to being a man first because you're going to fall not having these principles and having the money. So I'm just teaching what worked for me when I was transitioning and making my life great. Wow. Do, okay. And I thought about also you when you were younger coming up. What's mm -hmm. different about 
gold than than, than when you was coming up and how you was doing. Well, actually, with we have the actual same story. That's what, see. That's I, why I, I was going. I yeah, read same book. Too. You see what I'm saying? Think and grow rich. Yeah. yeah. I read Napoleon Hill book, and you know, being gamed up, I must have you know had the same similar experiences that he had. I said, man, it can't. It's impossible for so much gang to be in one book. I said the same thing, and then from that book, I started reading. You know. Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends, Influence People, uh, Kiyosaki, you know, uh, Zig Ziglar, you know, See You at the Top, and just Og Mandino, you know, uh, all kind of books, man, Prince Machiavelli, and that leads you to become and develop the person that you are. And I think that that's why when people see me and Goldie, we so motivated because we dropped excuses and pick up purpose, you know. We believe in motivation and inspiration. Therefore, you know, our perspective is a little bit different, you know, because when you can see it in your head, you can put it in your hand. Whatever the mind believes and can see, the mind can achieve. And I think that that's what all of Napoleon Hill students learn from the onset, you know, how to power the subconscious mind, mm -hmm. how to do sexual transformation, meaning that how you take the desire for sex and put it for the desire for having some things. You see mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And those are the things that uh, Goldie and I have uh, in similarity is our commonality yeah. is uh, Napoleon Hill. Wow, yeah, you know, and you one thing about that is, man, it's called think and grow rich, not doing grow rich. What people yeah. understand, if you put more emphasis on the thinking than the doing, you'll get way farther than just putting the emphasis on the doing. Yeah. Did you like the? Did you ever read the book Secrets of a Millionaire Mind? No, I didn't. You need to check that by one who? out. By T. Harv Eker. Okay, I know you're talking about yeah. what other book? He got another popular book. Yeah, he got one more, but but that's the one that I read. Okay. Like it's a, like a branch what's, what's out the name from of it again? Secrets of a Millionaire Mind. I, I've heard of that though. Yeah, that's, I, that's me and problem. Slim was just talking about that Birdman brother when I oh, talked okay. to him. It's something that that we both. I knew he liked that book too. I, yeah. We both liked that book. You know what I mean? You talked and, to Slim? Yeah, yeah. When I was down there, I told you. I, I didn't tell you I went down there. You told me we went to New Orleans. Yeah, what well, I'm going to no, go down so, there no, for? No, I'm saying because Slim, my man. You yeah, know, I'm going to talk to anybody. No, I, if I go, I'm going partner, like you. That's my partner, man. Slim, my partner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, you, you ain't the only one knowing people around here. No, no, here. no, no. <laughs> Ken, uh, he deep, though. He deep, but at the end of the day, he know how I am. I'm going to go get it. I, I ain't go down there for nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, but at the end of the day, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm happy for you that you talked to oh, Slim. Oh, I, I, that was the first time I talked to Slim. I talked to Birdman more than Slim. Be yeah. But because Birdman is more, you know, he popping, you know, yeah, he, 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 Slim ain't coming out like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> nah, that's why I said you talked to Slim. Yeah, I did. You know what I'm he, I did. And I've been knowing him for years. He, he's a very uh, reclusive type person. Very. That's that's the one thing we talked about with that book and just them coming up, you know, down there. Um, hopefully one uh, sometime in the near future, I get to talk with him and sit down and have an interview with him. That's what that's the hopes and the goals. Yeah, I that's think, a good I author, think the right? culture yeah. waiting on that. Yeah, yeah, culture yeah. yeah. That. but we need to do it, man. Like I said, a lot of times, you know, you see how the thing is going. I just looked at a complex. Uh, they had a, 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 a top so many whatever, you know, uh, book. I mean, a, a list that they brought out. Uh, uh, Hip hop DX or whatever, and mm -hmm. it it pretty much didn't it. It's still like Pimp said, the South, you know, they didn't put no say cheese eighty five South boss talk. We ain't getting no light like that. We got to create our own light, bro. That's a hundred percent. We in the wrong. We in a different demographic, and a lot of times people we sit back and act like it's still. It you don't know why no that more. is, right? Uh, well, we got to pull see, our own bootstraps see, up, though, see, see, when you think about New York, no, no, think about it like this, hypothetically speaking. When you go to New York, you know. Matt Hoffa, Jay Z, they all partners. The double said they all grew up together. Yeah, they come from the same project. Mm -hmm. New York ain't as big as people think it. It's just an island, right? Yeah, and so those people hobnob with each other, and they got a vested interest in bringing each other up. That's why every time I go to New York, I link up with somebody who's a what I would call a socialite. You know, somebody that's well known and respected because that's just how it is, and that's why you can see Puffy become a billionaire, Jay-Z become a billionaire because they got close proximity to all those people. But one thing that don't stop, I love the internet and the way that the web is set up, they ain't stopping nobody money. Everybody's still that, getting paid. Me, yeah. uh, Say Cheese, uh, 85 South, you still it's, getting it's tons money of money. And, and no, they may not give you the status, just like when Kent, when, when uh, Pimp C and were doing it. They might not give you the status, but yeah. you still were selling tapes. No, I'm, Pimp, I'm, I'm giving you, I'm giving I, you I, the explanation. I, I, I yeah, 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 I get it. That's why. But you see what I'm saying, yeah, though? They don't exactly. stop nothing. They just don't give you the recognition that they should. You, you see what I'm saying? 
but they don't stop nothing. Yeah, we still ride yeah. around you in big cars and nice houses, and yeah. we, we it don't matter. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it is a thing where we got to be able to just respect ourselves and up, uphold ourselves. I, I think we need to come up with that was my thing to push things to the top that's why I started you see what I'm yeah, saying yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I started the hip hop fraternity for sure yeah. so I don't have to wait for Grammys and I have to wait for the BET <laughs> Awards come on man yeah we on Boss Talk 101 yeah we gonna talk